Hi, I'm Ted Kaufman. I'm the Executive Director at Maine Audubon, and I want to invite CTN5 viewers to attend a wonderful event we're planning for April 26th at 7 p.m. here at headquarters of Maine Audubon in Falmouth. 1962 was the year Rachel Carson's Silent Spring was published. Silent Spring was an important book uh, that opened up the modern environmental movement and exposed the public to the risks that uh, Rachel Carson identified of, around pesticides and the use of pesticides, overuse of pesticides in agriculture, in our uh, yards and homes and in our communities, and the impact of pesticides on wildlife and perhaps human health. We have learned a lot in the 50 years since Silent Spring was published, and we're gonna have a panel of three interesting, interesting people one is Dr. Deborah Rice, who uh, works for the Centers for Disease Control. She's a toxicologist and has a great deal of knowledge around the human, the impacts on humans of uh, various uh, new chemicals that are in products and, uh, and are getting into our bodies and into our environment. Uh, we'll have Bob Duchesne, who's a state representative serving on the Environment and Natural Resources Committee. Bob has uh, helped pass a number of bills protective of public health from various toxic chemicals. And Amanda Sears, who is uh, with the Maine Environmental Health Strategy Center. And she will speak about national policy and what's been done in Maine and why states need to take the lead. So we hope you'll be with us on April 26th at 7 o'clock here at Maine Audubon to talk about what we've learned from Rachel Carson and what we've learned over the last 50 years since the book Silent Spring was published.